Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show, and it's Wimmera football time with Chris Greats from the Wimmera Mallee Sport, who joins me on the line deep into finals territory, and it's all very exciting. Chris, you must be loving life right now covering this great football competition. Yeah, it's a, it's a great competition at the moment, especially in finals. Uh, as we'll touch base soon, one of the games on the weekend was thrilling, and I'm upset I wasn't there, but I had to work and do my work in the office instead so we'll talk about that soon enough but it's great it's here and this weekend is even bigger with the football matches we've got in store and we're going to chat about that very soon but let's go back to last weekend Ararat and Stall one way contest one way traffic in the end or was it Chris certainly it was in terms of the final result Ararat too good yeah and this wasn't a surprise as we know back on Good Friday Stall won but ever since then Ararat has convincingly defeated them and this was no different so they played the week before and the margin was a bit less than what it was this week so Ararat are looking very very fine they just yeah capitalised with the wind in the first quarter and then um, against the wind in the second and then with the wind in the first third quarter they kicked seven goals to three to really blow the game away and from there they weren't headed uh, they had a come six point win the good thing to our rat is Tom Mills, their co-coach with Tom Williamson. He kicked seven goals. He's only played about eight matches this year, and he's in a good string of form at the moment. He kicked seven uh, on the weekend, then six the week before, then four the week before that. So the three games he's been back, he's kicked, what is that, 17 goals. So that's ominous in time of finals. And for Storm, well, they've got a bit of a bit of a building block to do to work out how they're going to win their match this weekend. They, Cody Driscoll kicked two goals, but yeah, at the moment, it's their goal kicking, which is a bit worrying for them. They just, their forwards just aren't clicking at the moment. So they'll go back to the drawing board and we'll see what happens from here on in. Huge result in the elimination final. Horsham Demons are done and dusted. Near getting the better of them 80 to 73 these two pretty well neck and neck Chris but Horsham Demons finishing higher on the ladder means that this was somewhat of a surprise for Neil to pull this one out of the bag yeah if you talk to everyone at Neil before the game they were confident heading in this was this was a classic game uh, this was uh, one of the best finals in recent years in the Wimmera League probably in the last 10 years um, Neil got out the AU's it was conditions were shocking. It was rainy, it was wet, and they kicked five goals eight in the first quarter to lead by 36 points a quarter time nil. And then Horsham slowly got back into it. Uh, the margin was 19 points at half time, and then 13 at um, 13 at um, yeah three quarter time. But the last quarter was oh, the best football probably played this year by all reports. I have actually watched the video, especially in the dying seconds. Because what happened was this went into extra time. I um, don't know when the last time a final in the Wimmera went to extra time, but uh, Neil coach Jake McQueen got a smother on it on the ball from Jordan Modern. He kicked his goal, went straight through, and um, yeah, leveled the scores. Otherwise, the Demons would have won. And then, yeah, that brought into extra time. And then the Demons got the first goal in extra time against Drew Motten. But, yeah, Neil, Neil got the lead back at the first end of the first period of overtime, thanks to Deke Robert. And, yeah, they held that um, solitary one-point lead all the way through the second period of overtime. And they kicked the goal on the siren to uh, win the match. It was a classic match and every, in trying conditions. And so we go back to the Horsham Demons. Ryan Kemp kicked three goals. So he's ended a terrific season for Horsham. Uh, he's finished the year on um, 46 goals. And then for Neil, well, Dylan Ryan three, Deke Robert three, and Drew Schneider three. Drew's been the most consistent player for them this year on the scoreboard. Deke Roberts as an older fella, a Horsham Demons played in a few premierships at Horsham, so it was a bit fitting that he kicked probably the winning goal there against his old mob. And Dylan Ridden, yeah, was sensational. So, Neil, yeah, they're, they're a team to be feared coming up this weekend, that's for sure. Sure sounds that way. Just thrilling stuff, Chris, and really well covered as well. Let's get into talking about the finals that are getting underway from tomorrow. The first game being between the Southern Mallee Thunder and Ararat in the qualifying final this weekend. That is just going to be 
a game between two Titans, Chris. How do you see this one going? Because it's pretty hard to pick. I mean, after what was a massive season, who do you think's better value for the win here? Um, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I still don't know to this moment. When you look at their past um, games earlier in the year, at our wrap, there was only 15 points of margin. It was only goal early in the last quarter. So they, it was a close game. And then last time they played, um, it was a comprehensive 47 point win to our wrap. And yeah, the Thunder didn't have a full squad then. They didn't have Brad Lowe and they didn't have Rupert Sankster. Uh, they've got Rupert Sankster back this week, but not Brad Lowe, which is a shock, um, because I thought he would have been back. So, at Anzac Park in Warwickville, this is going to be a cracker of the match. Um, it's going to be won easily in the midfield. I'm not sure if Ararat have Cody Lindsay, their Ruckman, back, but if they don't, that's going to hurt them a bit because Kieran Delahunty should get on top in the middle. But both midfields are just roaring with talent. So it's just going to be one in the midfield and who can get those goals. So, yeah, it's a close game to be expected. Um and I'm just going to say the Thunder are going to win this and they'll win it by less than a goal. Big call, big call. All right, well, in the semi final on Sunday, it's Stall and Neil going at it. Now, Stall, they're going to be going into this game fairly wounded and Neil will be up and about, but I guess the question becomes, have Neil played their grand final already, particularly going into extra time last weekend? I don't think so. When they first met at the start of the season in around four, uh, still won by 21 points. So it was a close match. The only difference, there was no really difference on that day. Um, our app was just a little bit good, but in the return fixture, at Neil, it was a windy and rainy day. And Neil just got on top the whole game and stayed on top the whole game and ended up winning by two goals. Regarding whether they played their grand final last week, I don't think so. You look at this match and, yeah, you look at the momentum. Finals is all about momentum. And you look at Stall and running into the finals. They beat the Eagles by 109 points, which is nothing. They lost to the Thunder by 61. They lost to Ararat by 35. They lost to Ararat last week by 56. So they're coming in with a three-game losing streak. Whereas Neil, on the other hand, they're firing on all cylinders. Um, they drew against Ararat. And in the last round, they defeated Neil. I mean, they defeated Horsham Saints by 50 points. And then last week, they won that overtime thriller. So based on momentum, they're going to have the momentum. I'm going to say Neil's going to win this match by two or three goals because you just have to look at the momentum. They've got the momentum. You can't win a final losing the last three games. You really can't. You're absolutely spot on. Great coverage from yourself, Chris Grades. Before we do let you go, let our listeners know where they can go to buy the Wimmer Mallee Sport because it's action-packed and they wouldn't want to miss out on anything that's being uh, covered at the moment by yourself. So just uh, remind our listeners where they can go in the online world or in physical form to buy the paper. Yeah, that's right. So Wimmer and Mallee Sport is our sport-only paper released in April, first week in April. It is it's 20 pages long. So it's 20 pages full of sport content, covers football, win both leagues around here and other sports. And you can get that at your local agencies where you get your papers or your news agency or petrol stations or IDA, wherever they sell the papers. It should pop up there. And if you can't get an online, or if you can't get a physical copy, sign up online at wmsport.com.au. That will give you our digital edition of the paper, any online content, and all our other four papers as well. So the Horse and Times, Warwick Herald, Rainbow Argus, and Dimboola Banner. You can read that as well. And definitely pick up a copy next week of the sports paper because my grand final preview in the Horsham District League is going to be the best in the region. I've got four or five pages lined up with smack bang, beautiful content. Already lined up interviews for the winning team this weekend to meet the Harabamo in the grand final. So you definitely can't miss out on the paper next week, especially if you want to read up on the Horsham District League grand 
grand final, get the paper and have a look at it. Excellent work, Chris Grates from the Wimmera Mallee News. All the best. Enjoy the finals and we'll speak to you again next week. Thanks, Adam Ellis. We'll speak next week.